Hello friends and welcome to the spring break glow up. This week I'm taking all the necessary precautions to glow up for my spring break where I will be at the beach. I'm going to Rosemary Seaside 30A area this Sunday the 4th through the 10th and I'm so excited. We have a lot of preparing to do. I gotta get my toes, my nails done. I'm getting waxed, a Brazilian wax. My first time ever, I'm so scared. Getting my eyelashes done. I have to go to the mall and do some shopping, some last minute shopping of course. If you're new, subscribe. And with that being said, let's head on over to the mall right now. Our first place that we will be traveling to is the mall. I went there a few weeks ago and got some stuff from Victoria's Secret. And the lady kind of like peer pressured me into buying a bra. I didn't go there for a bra, but I ended up walking out with one. And I got home and I tried it on and it was way too small. So I need to exchange the bra and get something that actually fits. I also need to hit Sephora. And I cannot tell you the last time I went into a Sephora and bought something because all my makeup is drugstore. But I kind of want to just splurge on my eyebrow pencil stuff. I haven't found a really good drugstore brow pencil that I like better than the honest Stasia line, so we're gonna do that. And knowing Katie, I'll probably go into some more stores and find some other stuff. Let's go on some last minute shopping. <laughs> Some really cute tops at Forever 21. I got like four different tops and it was only $30 or $35. That's not even bad, but I'm so happy with all the stuff I got and now we're going into H&M. Okay, I'm out of the mall and I wanna give you guys a little haul of the stuff that I got. I went into pink and all I did was exchange the bra for a bigger size, so I'll show you guys what that bra is. This is just a strapless nude bra. I don't own a strapless bra and a lot of the tops that I wear require one or I just go braless, which I'm fine with. It's just tan, I didn't own a tan bra. <laughs> then I went into Sephora. I was just gonna get my refill brow products, so my favorite brow pencil ever. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, the skinny one in the shade blonde. It's the only one that like matches my eyebrow hairs perfectly to go with it. I got the clear brow gel. Anastasia just makes my favorite eyebrow products and this is really good. But I also got this small one since I'm gonna be traveling. These two things together was like $40. So that's all I got from Sephora. And Forever 21, this is the fun stuff. I got a bunch of tiny tops. So I think you guys probably saw this one while I was shopping because it's neon pink. I have this top in like a mustard yellow and I wear it all the time. It's just a really cute seamless ribbed tiny top. And this one's neon neon pink. So this will look so pretty with the tan at the beach. So it's just like a seamless top. I'm pretty sure this is in their athletic line. I wear them to work out. I wear them when I go to work to coach gymnastics. When I was at the mall a few weeks ago, I saw this sports bra that they had there and then it was on sale today. So I bought it. It's really pretty. It's like this pink cheetah leopard print. And again, from their active wear, I constantly wear active wear as athleisure so I'll just wear it normally like I'm literally wearing like a Nike sports right now and leggings and I'm gonna wear this to the gym after I go to work but I just wear it out all the time I thought this would be so cute it's like a longer sports bra so you could pass it as a top and it was a thick material it was a size small and it was on sale for nine bucks so I thought this was so cute and I can't wait to try it on this is the last top I got but I did get something else it's just a seamless sports bra it's just a pretty like navy burgundy color again always looking for tiny tops or sports bras workout clothes it's so cute I hope this covers my oobies but I liked it a lot that same like thick ribbed material. Forever 21 makes really cute cheap little jewelry so every once in a while I go and look at it and I saw this really cute necklace. I highly recommend cheap jewelry when you go on vacation so you don't ruin it or break it or lose it. So this was this really adorable little necklace. It's like these handcuffs that are interlocked and I thought it was really cute so I think layered. It would look amazing and this was five bucks. Oh, if you guys did not see, I already posted a spring break clothing haul. So if you wanna see all the bikinis and more clothing, like actual clothing pieces that I'll be wearing, go check that out. That's my shopping for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow when we go to get my eyelashes done. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's now Wednesday the 31st and I'm going to get my eyelashes done. If you guys don't know, I've been getting like an eyelash lift and tint to my lashes for almost three years now and I do it like every six months. I wanted to do it because I haven't done it in a really long time so I thought I would add it to this glow up video. It's after school. It is torrential downpouring outside. Raining, raining, raining. Me and Avery just walked out of school with an umbrella which is so incredibly awkward but my toes are soaked. I have wet toes. Whoa! I'm going to my 
favorite lady, Marceline. She's been doing my eyelash lift for almost three years, like I said. So I just pulled up in front of the studio, but I want to show you guys my eyelashes naturally. This is what they look like. My eyelashes are pretty long. They're just really blonde. This just helps them look longer and gives them a little tint for a little while. So it makes me feel more confident, you know, without having to wear makeup. And it's nothing crazy like lash extensions because it's all my natural eyelashes. So I'm going to put a mask on and oh, I just broke it. Okay, and here are my eyelashes. So I'm wearing no makeup right now, and this is what it looks like, and that's why I love it, because it just makes me feel a lot more confident, especially with being such a natural blonde. My eyelashes, my eyebrows just never show up because I have such light hair. It makes it look like I'm wearing mascara without actually having to wear mascara. So tomorrow I'm going to go get my toes done, and then Friday I have my Brazilian wax. I'm so scared, and I'm going to get my nails done at Kate's house on Friday. So I will now see you guys tomorrow. This is a week-long process of getting ready to go to the beach. Oh, I'm also leaving Saturday now, so not Sunday. Surprise! It is now Thursday after school, literally straight after school, and I'm going to the salon to get my toes done. But I'm wearing my mid blazers, so I have to take these off because that's not gonna work. I'm so excited to get my toes done. It has been a long time in coming since I've had my toes done, so this is much needed, very necessary. I've been getting white on my toes since I was like a fetus. Having freshly done toes, like getting a pedicure is so nice, so I'm very excited for this. No, Kate will not be doing my toes because she doesn't work on weekdays. She only works on the weekend. That's why somebody else will be doing my toes, but that's okay because it's just toes. Also, I did in fact wear this sweatshirt just like this to school all day, and I'm okay with it. Okay, let's go. I look scary. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom, but I just got some my toes and they look so good. Look at what I look like. Like, uh, <laughs> look like a garden gnome. But here are my toes. If you're creepy, don't look at them, but they look so good. I love them. Toes are completed and I love it. And I'm actually right next to the Target, so I need to run in and get a few things for spring break. I need a new concealer because I'm going to be tan and I don't have any that like will be a tan shade. I also need a new mascara because mine are dry. Just some random stuff that I'll probably get. We're going to go into Target and do a last minute little trip. Go through, grab everything that I need. And then tomorrow is our last day of the glow up and tomorrow's going to be the best day because I'm getting my Brazilian wax, which I am so nervous about. Like, it's okay. And then I'm also gonna get my nails done tomorrow. So let's head into Target. This is one of my favorite mascaras, but I have this one at home already and it's not dried up yet. So I'm not gonna get this one. However, this is also one of my favorites and this one's dried up. So I'm gonna get this one. I love it. Target haul. I ended up spending $50, which I just don't understand how I do that to myself. First, I got two boxes of protein bars. These are my favorite protein bars that you can find like anywhere, and they're my personal favorite Quest Bar flavors. I actually enjoy eating these. Like, there's a bunch of Quest Bar flavors that I think are absolutely disgusting, but these are really good. Chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate sprinkled donut. I'm gonna need these for the beach because I eat protein bars every day, so got a restock of those. Then I'll show you guys the makeup I got. I got this Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I don't know what shade I am, so I just got 15, and then because I don't know what shade I am, I also got this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and we're gonna hope one of these two matches my skin color. This one is in light ivory, and then you guys saw I got this Maybelline Mascara. You guys know my diet consists of mostly protein. I try to up my protein intake so I can get those big muscles. I also have a really big sweet tooth, and when you're trying to stay consistent and make good gains in the gym, but also still have a sweet tooth that's really hard but i've been seeing this archer farms ice cream go around and basically it's 380 calories for the entire thing which is really good excited to try this they only had one flavor which was caramel maple bourbon pecan pie which is definitely not the flavor i would choose but i'm gonna try it anyway and there's 20 grams of protein in this 20 grams insane Okay vlog, so it is now, it's Friday, and it's the last day of the glow up, and Avery is here because I'm about to go get waxed, <laughs> and I'm 
nervous, but I also needed a friend to hold my hand because I'm so scared. Kathy and Jamie, are they already went down to the beach. They already went down to the beach today. Avery and I leave tomorrow, so we're going like all separate, but then we're all staying in the same area, like I told you guys. Mm -hmm. So excited to get waxed. This is my first time ever. <laughs> this place was recommended by like people, so I hope mm -hmm. it's really good. And I'm nervous. They've yeah. probably seen the worst. Yeah, they definitely have seen like all kinds of stuff down there. Welcome to my car. Oh yeah. Big They've ever red. seen the inside of Big Red. Actually, probably during summer. Probably. But my appointment's in like 15 minutes, and we're sitting right outside of it. So at least I have a friend to hold my hand while I scream and cry. <laughs> you can make fun of her with me. Yes, you can. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna get teased the whole time. Like she's gonna pull the first step and like. <laughs> she's gonna be like. And I'm gonna be like. <laughs> And then after this, I'm going to get my nails done. So we'll see you guys. My nails are already done. Oh yeah, show them. Avery's are so cute. The lightning bolts. I'm going to Sweet Peach Waxing and Sugaring Studio. <laughs> they won't let Avery come in with me. Okay guys, Brazilian is complete. That was like the thing I was most scared about or like excited. I was scared and excited for both ways. No shaving for a really long time, completely smooth. It wasn't that bad. Mine was $38 and then I tipped her $10 on top, so $48 for the entire thing, which was pretty reasonable. It was a specialty place as well and the lady was so nice. So I was like, yeah. We had a little altercation before because they didn't have like a minor thing and you had to have a parent. So my dad had to come. Hi friends, so I'm at the beach already, but I want to explain this. Basically, the altercation it wasn't that big of a deal but on their website they never stated anything about minors and having to have a parent and an adult sign off or anything and I'm 17 and the legal age in Georgia is 16 to get waxed so I thought I'd be fine but it turns out it's place to place so every place can decide if you have to have like a parent to sign off the altercation was that I got there had to have a parent so my dad just had to come and show his ID and then sign and that's it so next time if I want to go back he doesn't have to come again just because he gave me approval and permission but he didn't stay or anything he literally just came in signed show his ID and left but it was annoying because they didn't show that we had to do that but that was it it was all good in the hood I recommend if they would have let me know before I would have known but it was fine it all worked out pain wise was not terrible the worst part is like the top I'm being very general but it's like the top is kind of painful that was like the only thing where I like flinched but besides that everything was super smooth went really well and I would definitely do it again so I recommend that was my first time in it's not bad and now I'm gonna be smooth for the beach which is exciting now I'm going to get my nails done at Kate's house so I will see you guys when I get there time to get some collage you look fine yeah. you look fine okay well I made it to Kate's house for her to do my nails we're doing secret she doesn't want me to show her face you look pretty yes you do I'm so excited we're doing tie-dye again if you guys remember I did tie-dye nails in summer but that was my natural nail so we're doing very colorful for a spring break this is my glow up for spring break to make me look pretty have you ever got Brazilian waxed don't do it <laughs> i don't want to it was painful but it's fine we're here now can you say hi there we are <laughs> she's in it now <laughs> right the white base is on my nails i'm getting coffin i'm getting them a little longer than i normally do because yolo it's spring break time all right guys so i never showed you my final nails but this is what they look like they're just tie-dye kate did an awesome job like she always does i get sns with then just regular polish on top and she did the hand painted tie-dye design the final part of this glove with me is packing and i just finished laying everything out and putting it all together there's a few final things that i have to do when we leave tomorrow morning but bella was just over and she was helping me pack because she's going to disney with her family so unfortunately bella will not be at the beach with us which is sad she's our fifth girlfriend it's okay i see her all the time and i'll see her after break let me show you guys what i have all laid out these are all my clothes so i have my shoes i'm bringing i'm bringing running shoes so i can run on the beach and do some cardio while i'm there because i'm not gonna be able to go to the gym which really sucks I have plain white vans which will go with everything and then two pairs of beach shoes my cheetah crocs and my burks I have big t-shirts right here These are all kinds of shorts jean shorts sweat shorts comfy shorts and athletic shorts to work out in I have one pair of sweatpants and a sweatshirt right there that's all bras, socks, underwear. There are sports bras and athletic clothes that I'll be wearing to work out with. And those are my tiny tops. Here are all the bikinis that I'm bringing. Literally, like, this 
pile is just huge. Here's my makeup, toiletries, and then I have a few other toiletries in here, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, razor, and then my stuff that I'll use tonight and tomorrow morning. I believe that that is all. I'm also bringing my camera bag and all my electronics, so AirPods, laptop, cameras, camera chargers, camera batteries, all that kind of stuff. So you guys will be getting probably some beach vlogs. We'll see. I really just want to enjoy my spring break. I feel like I've done a lot of work recently and I just need time off and a break to actually enjoy myself. Not have to worry about school or business stuff. I mean, I love YouTube, but it's also my job. So I need a break. There's going to be tons of Instagram pictures and TikToks with all my friends. So expect and look forward to that. I'm going to load all of this into this big old duffel bag right there. And that will be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed glowing up with me for spring break. I had so much fun filming this. These videos are just so fun. Like we get to go through all the steps of self-care, making ourselves not only look better, but feel better. So I hope you have a wonderful spring break. And with that being said, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.